Hello and welcome to my first video tutorial in English. My name is Alberto Cortés. I'm 3D generalist and 2D animator from Almería at the south of Spain. My log is something like the um sorry, something like this. The pic was taken in Phoenix Park in the wonderful city of Dublin, Ireland. So I would like to make a quick introduction to microphone basics. I think everybody has in mind what is a microphone and what is it for. But what would you say to someone who asks for a definition about it? Okay, try this. A microphone is a transducer. What? This means a device that converts a signal in one form of energy to another form of energy. <laughs> You're amazing. In this case, what the microphone does is to convert the acoustic energy into electrical energy. There are a lot of types of microphones, but in a general way, you can find two kinds of microphones in stores, dynamic and condensers. Both of them are prepared for different purposes, so it's important to have clear that dynamic are ready for live stage and condensers are the ones used for studios. Of course, that's not the only difference. Dynamic are robust and prepared for hard stretch situations like concerts. They don't require external power. Condensers are just the opposite, sensitive and ready for closed rooms. They require what is called a phantom power and these are the most recommended for studios because they pick up the sound accurately. Another important thing to look at when selecting a microphone is the frequency response. Depending on the situation, you will use a microphone for vocals, for ambience. If we find a microphone which peaks in frequency response are around 10,000 Hz, it will indicate that this microphone is ready for voices to come through well as the dynamic ones. Flattened peaks in the frequency response will indicate that the microphone is made for represent the sound accurately, like the condenser ones. Okay, so let's talk about another important aspect of the microphones, which is the polo pattern. This feature just indicates what areas pick up well and what areas around the microphone reject. There are several polo patterns, cardioid or directional, commonly used for vocals or speech. As dynamics as condensers, microphones can use this kind of polar pattern. Omnidirectional. This means that it takes the sound from all angles equally well. Figure 8 or bidirectional picks the sound from the front and the back of the microphone. You can also find flavors of the directional mic, as the supercardioid, hypercardioid, which are made for taking a little more from the directional space. Resuming. The cardioid microphone will be the one you use when recording so much area of space is not needed and the omnidirectional ones will help you to take as much area as they can. Of course, selecting the polar pattern will influence in the frequency response. Lastly, what can we say about the placement? This is another really important aspect and it requires a lot of explanation. So let's resume it saying that the microphone will be well placed Uh, where the sound sounds the best. So I suggest you to walk around and make tries with your devices in hand, trying to find where are best places. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this quick introduction. Hasta pronto. See you soon. Bye.